Hey everyone, Gaming Noodle here with another episode of Odd Sphere. Chapter 4 of Velvet. Such a small ring is the key to Armageddon. Master. Will the cauldron remain asleep? Perhaps, perhaps the prophecy could be mistaken. You must never give the Ring of Titrell to anyone with a lust for power. Hey, here she is! What? Indeed, this saves us the trouble of having to go underground. W what do you want? Ah! Wait, listen. King Valentine has ordered us to come here. My grandfather? Princess, the king is furious. <laughs> the customary punishment for disobeying the king is hanging or crucifixion. Quiet. You have nothing to worry about. The king is a kind man. He said if you'll return the ring, he'll love you again. Princess Velvet. I will not let him have it. Killing her isn't an option. Just steal the ring. Like candy from a pea. There are too many of them. Run away. Quiet, old man. Master! Yeah! Worry not about me. Hide the ring where no one will find it. Escape. All right, looks like we're going to Winterhorn Ridge. Uh, you know these kind of levels. I really don't like the the ticking damage. I know it's something like three damage. That's like nothing, but just to have a constant source of damage is kind of annoying. And they do that with the lava levels as well, don't they? because it's too hot, so you also get damage from that. I actually usually can't be bothered to make like the coolers or the warmers or whatever the heck you have to make, you know? I mean, it's an interesting idea, but uh, it just gets kind of annoying after a while. I guess it's their way of kind of like making you proactive with um, the alchemy system. You know, they probably don't want you to just ignore it completely. Because it is a big part of the game, to be honest with you. You may want to play the game and just kind of, you know, play just as an action game and not care about anything else, but uh, you're kind of missing out on a lot, you know. But each their own. Still, I've always loved the, what do you call it, the Aurora Sky of these levels. Well, all these levels are fantastic. But, uh, it looks like now we have to hide the ring. So we spent all this time trying to find it and steal it. And now we're just gonna try and, you know, put it away somewhere so no one else can find it. This one ring that will cause, you know, the start, I think, of Armageddon. You know, why can't she just, like, break it? Is the ring indestructible or something? Can you not just, you know, put it, put it under your heel and crush it into a thousand bits, into dust, and then you will have no more Ring of Titrell, and the cauldron will stay inactive, and everyone's safe. I mean, if you think about it, this is such Armageddon. When when I when you think about Armageddon, it, it sounds kind of cool and stuff, and you know. But in this game, it's really depressing. Like, especially if you get to the end of this game, and you get... I won't spoil anything, but even if you get... Like, there's two endings. The good ending and the bad ending. The, the bad ending is when you kind of do the, the last bosses in the wrong order. The good ending, you have to do the bosses in the correct order. 
Now I'll tell you that with the bad order, this ending is so depressing. Like really depressing. You'll see why. I I, I don't even for the bad ending. I don't want to give anything away, but it's really. I was so sad. I was like, what? This cannot be the end of the game. No way. This is this isn't fun. But it, it, it's still good, you know, because it makes you, well, it made me feel, you know, a lot of emotions. But they definitely, when they say Armageddon, they mean Armageddon in this game. It's fantastic. Oh, okay. Chapter 4. Alright, Above the Clouds. Enjoy this. As you can see, his soul is with the stars. Why are you here, Jewel Handler? If I dislike your answer, you shall not leave this mountain. I have been waiting for you. I have been waiting to meet Hindle's friend. My name is Wagner. Who are you? I must know or I will not help you. I am Princess Velvet of Valentine. You are related to the one who created the cauldron that destroys souls. And that jeweled chain. Hindle last told me. A Shadow Knight from the Fairy Kingdom would soon come to take his life. He knew it all, but he died following his destiny. He mentioned you then. He died from that jewel. Don't casually dismiss his death. Do you think of us as mere lizards, incapable of shedding tears? You don't seem to understand that my friend's death pains me terribly. It pierces my heart, you witch of Valentine. I could crush your bones and drink your blood, but it would bring me no peace. I curse the misfortune of meeting you here. Wagner, please wait! Okay, this dragon has serious issues. Like, okay, I get it. You hate everyone that's not a dragon. You just, you, you... Like, he's just... You know, his mood swings. You can't even talk to him normally. It's like you could be perfectly nice to him and he's still going to threaten to kill you in the worst way possible. And for that he has to die. But uh, yeah, this this fight, this fight is Velvet, um, not too bad. Pretty easy actually, compared to some of the other ones. Because when you, you know, do your last few power-up moves at the end of a chain, you, at least you still stay on his head. Unlike some, I'm looking at you, Oswald. Oswald Cobblepot. I say it's easy, yet here I am, almost dead. That's how I usually do it, right? I mean, I say, oh yeah, this is not too difficult at all, but uh, I'm almost dead I'm within an inch of my life. So once you actually um, kill this delicious looking dragon, this colourful dragon, uh, it's going to move the story on and uh, hopefully we're going to see more of King Valentine. I hope so. I love that guy. I can't wait for him to come back. Every time he enters a scene, I, I love it. It's awesome. Alright, go to sleep dragon. Alright, enjoy the rest of uh, the story, and I will see you in the next episode, guys. Don't be arrogant, girl. Allow me to show you what a true dragon is capable of. You can take my life, but please, hear what I have to say first. I do not care if you beg. I have stopped the cauldron to prevent a great disaster. Hindle told me to come here. Eh? What did you say? You stopped the cauldron that creates the jewels like the ones you use? 
No one can command the cauldron now. Save for the one wearing this ring, Titrell. This ring is the only thing that can reactivate the cauldron. If you speak the truth, then that means that no more jewels can be created. The Demon Lord and the Goblins are all searching for this ring. Please lend me your aid. I come here to hide this ring where nobody will be able to find it. Are you saying that the Valentine royal family wishes to dig its own grave? I never thought I'd hear that. But there is nowhere that is truly unreachable to all. Wherever the ring is buried, the dwarves will eventually dig it up, given time. Then what do you suggest? Let me take the ring. I am Wagner, ruler of the sky. Not even the beast of Armageddon can reach me above the clouds. And I am safe from Odin. Why is that? We made a deal long ago. In reward for his valor, I gave him my blood. The source of his mighty power is the dragon's blood running through his veins. As a result, Odin's powers cannot harm me. Now, give me that ring. Please be careful. This ring is sought by more than just kings. Tis my responsibility. Thank you, Wagner. If Odin is hunting you, I would advise you to stay away from this mountain. I often see the Demon Lord's Valkyrie in the area. I cannot hide from him. This situation must come to an end eventually. I may be Valentinian royalty, but I am Odin's daughter. What? It has been predicted. I will be captured by the Aesir. As the thief who ruined their chances of victory.